Multi-paradigm data science with the Wolfram language. Section 2, getting your data into shape. Data pre-processing involves deriving features from raw data that are informative and non-redundant and are also suitable as input to machine learning algorithms and statistical models often used in the later stages of the workflow. Feature extraction therefore becomes a very useful step in the multi-paradigm data science workflow as it transforms raw data in a variety of formats into numeric vectors which make it easier to do things like applying transformations like standardization, rescaling, filtering, etc., performing operations like principal component analysis and others, or simply finding distances between samples or even triggering activations in neural networks. During feature extraction, we can convert nominal features that describe some qualitative aspects of an object, usually represented as a text or string, to numbers. We can convert Boolean features, true, false, yes, no, and so on, to numbers. And we can also convert images and text to numbers. It's not sufficient to just have these numbers. If the numeric features have different ranges of values, then we need to have feature scaling standardization that is shifting and rescaling elements of a list to have zero mean and unit sample variance is one way to scale features. In addition to feature extraction, we can also use feature selection to obtain a reduced set of features. Sometimes the original input may contain redundant and irrelevant features that affect the performance of a machine learning algorithm natively. Feature selection can help with this problem. It can improve generalization of the model by reducing overfitting. It can reduce training times. And it can even simplify models to make them more easily interpretable by humans. Feature selection is also sometimes referred to as variable selection, attribute selection, or variable subset selection, the process of selecting a subset of relevant features for use in model construction. Filter methods work by selecting features based on some score calculated by applying a statistical test to determine which feature has the most predictive power. Wrapper methods select a subset of features and train a model, change the subset and see if the model performance improves or degrades. In forward selection, features are added one at a time. In backward elimination, starting with all features, they are removed one at a time. Embedded methods have feature selection built in as part of the model training process itself. Dimensionality reduction can be treated as a special case of feature extraction and selection, where data is projected to a different dimension than original feature space. When faced with too many features, projecting data to lower dimension helps to avoid the curse of dimensionality, poor general performance of models overfitted on training data. Dimensionality reduction also allows intuitive visualization of data points in two or three dimensions for exploratory analysis. The dimension reduce function automatically selects the best dimensionality reduction algorithm based on the data. But we can also specify the method we want to use. For example, in this case, we're using TSNE or PCA. The feature space plot function automatically extracts features from the given data and reduces two dimensions and creates a scatter plot. When faced with a large collection of data samples, instant selection can help with quickly creating a model for proof of concept. This involves selecting a subset of training data to actually build the classifier. Instances can be sampled from a large data set either by random sampling or stratified sampling. In summary, we looked at functionality useful for extracting features from raw data and for reducing dimensionality of high dimensional data. We also talked briefly about feature selection and instance selection. This brings us to the end of the section, Get Your Data Into Shape.